Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you stuffed dal puri recipe. This recipe is very famous in Jamnagar. Jamnagar is the city in Gujarat and this recipe is so unique and different. And of course, during the Diwali time, we want to serve something different to our guests. So this recipe is perfect for that. And to go with this dal puri, I'm gonna show you restaurant style coffee recipe. Because we always think that why our coffee never come out as the restaurant style perfect froth on the top. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. So let's get started. So to make our stuffed dal puri, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the dal. So for that, I took one cup of chana dal. You don't need to soak this. So I pressure cook this. And once you pressure cook, you want to make sure that the dal doesn't get mushy. So two whistle is fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the tadka for that. So here I'm taking up a tablespoon of oil. Into that, I'm going to add cumin seeds. Asa fatida. Also, I'm going to add the green chilies as well as the onion. Now, green chilies, it's up to you how spicy you want it. Since I'm not going to add any red chili powder in this recipe, I'm going a little bit of heavy hand for the green chilies. I'm going to go ahead and saute this for a minute or so and then I'm going to add the turmeric powder. Now turmeric powder, it's up to you. If you want, you can always add it while you are pressure cooking your dal. But I did not add any salt or haldi powder when I was pressure cooking the dal. So that is the reason I'm adding here. And this is how the dal should look like because when we eat this stuff dal puri, we want to see the whole dal in there. So that's the reason it's really important that the dal doesn't get mushy. I'm going to go ahead and add all the dal into the onion mixture, mix it really well and next I'm going to go ahead and add the dhania jeera powder. I'm also adding a little bit of chana masala. Again, this masala is going to change the entire flavor of this. It's going to taste so good and actually by this time my entire house was smelling so good. I'm also adding a little bit of Kitchen King Masala, just a little bit, not too much. And if you don't have this, don't worry about it. Chana Masala should be fine. But again, all this combination of different spices, it is going to enhance the flavor. Also, I'm adding a little bit of Kasuri Methi. So now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything very well and at this point if you feel like the dal is getting way too dry you can go ahead and add a little bit of water here but not too much because this dal we want semi-solid so we don't want the runny consistency so that's the reason you want to make sure that you can add the water but not too much. So I'm going to add the salt at last and this is it our dal is all ready. So now the dal is ready, I'm going to go ahead and transfer that into the serving bowl. As you can see, dal is semi-solid as well as we can still see the grain. And that is the main thing about this, that while you are cooking and mixing everything, you want to be gentle with it. And I'm not sure why it took me this long to share this recipe with you guys, but please friend, do try this recipe. It is different, it is unique, and I'm sure whoever you serve this recipe to, they will love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the alu sabji and again for this alu sabji you want to make sure that the potato doesn't get mushy. So here I'm taking about tablespoon oil. Into that I'm going to add the cumin seeds, asa fatida and the unique thing about both of this recipe is that I'm not adding any red chili powder. I'm going to go ahead and add the green chili and this 
Sabji recipe, it's very simple because most of our flavor we are getting from the dal as well as the other toppings that we'll do. So here I took about three small potato, cut them in the small cubes and you can always use the boiled potato. But I found that with the boiled potato, it get really mushy. So that's the reason I'm not using the boiled potato here. I'm adding the haldi powder, salt, mix it really well. And if you want, you can always add a little bit of Kitchen King Masala here too. And then after a few minutes, this is it. Our sabji is all done. And now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the puri. So while you make the dough for the puri, you want to add a little bit of salt as well as the oil into it and make the stiff dough out of it. When you roll the puri, you want to make sure that you roll it a little bit thick so it can hold our dal as well as the sabji there. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare all my puris first and whenever you are ready to serve, then you can just go ahead and assemble everything which I'm going to show you. But that's how my puris looks like. So all my puris are done and next I'm going to share with you guys the perfect coffee recipe. We always think that why our coffee doesn't come out as the restaurant style perfect froth on the top. So in this video I'm going to share with you how easy it is to make. So for that I'm going to take one cup of milk. I'm going to go ahead and boil that milk first. And the recipe that I'm showing you here that is basically one cup of coffee recipe. And here I do have the hot water. It is really important the water is hot. And I'm using the Nescafe here. You want to use the instant coffee. You can use any brand that you like. So I'm going to take half a tablespoon coffee as well as one tablespoon sugar. My camera battery die in between so this step is not going to clear. But once I mix the coffee as well as sugar, I add just the one spoon of water, the hot water into the mixture. And now we're going to go ahead and whisk it. You need to whisk this for about 7 to 10 minutes and create some air. So as you can see right now I'm whisking it. The color is really dark and I transfer that into the other bowl so I can show you the color difference. So after 10 minutes the color is going to change and then when you know the mixture is perfect. So as you can see right now, it's very light brown and that's what we wanted. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer this mixture into the cup. Next, I will go ahead and add the milk. So while you add the milk, you want to hold the pot a little bit high so that way you can have perfect froth. So that's it friends, our coffee is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it gently with the spoon and do try this recipe. As you saw, it is very easy to make. It is gonna be perfect just like the restaurant style and next time whenever you feel like drinking coffee, you don't have to go to Starbucks and you can make the perfect coffee at home. So now let's go ahead and prepare our stuffed dal puri. So here I'm going to first take all my puris and uh, put it in my plate. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the dal on top of the puri. And it's really important to make sure the dal is dry. Otherwise, if it's any consistency, puri is going to soak all that and it is not going to taste good. So friends, do try this recipe. As I mentioned, this is very unique and different. And of course, we always want to serve something different to our guest. Next, I'm going to add the sabji on top of that as well as a little bit of onion. And since this is Kathiawadi recipe, I'm going to add the garlic chutney on top of this.
I have ate this recipe at many different places but everywhere is something different. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe as well as the coffee recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!